free to use by schools and teaching institutions. This video can be freely used by any school or institute for teaching purposes. We only ask that you recommend us to the pupils' parents and other schools. We believe that education should be freely available to all. Thank you. Hooke's Law Part 17 The equation triangles are an ideal revision aid. They help Hooke's Law in rigid objects such as a rock or a block of wood, when we apply a force it just causes the object to accelerate. Then there are elastic objects which change shape when the force is applied. In these objects, the force's energy is stored within the object as potential energy. For example, elastic bands, rubber balls, slingshot, springs, squash ball, trampoline etc. They all change shape when a force is applied, in the process they store energy. When the force is removed the object returns to its former state by releasing the stored energy. This storage and release of energy is called elastic potential energy. Springs are components used quite widely, because of their unique ability to store and release energy when compressed or stretched. Experimental work has shown that springs have a linear region during which if a force is applied the spring will stretch proportional and when that force is removed the spring will return to its original shape. This is a very useful property, and which makes springs useful in weighing devices such as weighing scales. In this view you can see a spring in its natural state. Below it, a force F is applied making the spring to stretch, causing the force's energy getting stored as potential energy. The graph shows you the force applied versus extension of the spring. You can see that part of the graph is linear. This is the green part and this is the part of the graph which is useful in weight scales. The Hooke's law connects the force F to the spring constant K and extension X in this way. Force F equals spring constant multiplied by extension equals KX. The letter K represents the quality of the spring to stretch when a force is applied. It is a measured in N slash M and is a constant value for a given s We can write this equation into the triangle as shown. The value F always goes to the top box of the triangle. In the next box, we write K and finally we write X in the final box. This triangle gives us three formula, which we can use. Next, we will look at how to use this triangle. The top box divides the bottom boxes by a line. This is the divide line in our equations and tells us that we divide the value F, either by K or X. The two lower boxes contain the other two terms. These boxes, we multiply together. We can put a multiply sign on the dividing line, to aid memory. The secret of this triangle equation for F. Let us see how to read the equation when we wish to find the F term. Equation for F. To find the equation that allows us to work out F, we do the following. Step 1. On the triangle cover up F box by your thumb. F is what we want to find. Step 2. Read the answer from the other two boxes. Step 3. Answer is K multiply by X. The formula looks like this. Force F equals spring constant K multiply by X. Example 1. Using the formula triangle, to work out F, given K equals 1000 newtons per meters and X equals 0.25 meters. Solution. Write the formula we just worked out. Put the values we have been given into the formula. Work out the result. Answer is F equals 250 newtons. Equation for K. Let us see how to read the equation when we wish to find the K term. Equation for K. To find the equation that allows us to work out K, we do the following. Step 1. On the triangle cover up K box by your thumb. K is what we want to find. Step 2. Read the answer from the other two boxes. 
Step 3. Answer is F divided by X. The formula looks like this. Spring constant K equals force F divided by extension. Using the triangle shown, work out the extension X, given the spring constant K equals 20,000 newtons per meters and F equals 2,000 newtons. Solution. Write the formula we just worked out. Put the values we have been given into the formula. Work out the result. Answer is K equals 2 newtons slash meters. Equation for X. Let us see how to read the equation when we wish to find the X term. Equation for X. To find the equation that allows us to work out X, we do the following. Step 1. On the triangle cover up X box by your thumb. X is what we want to find. Step 2. Read the answer from the other two boxes. Step 3. The formula looks like this. X equals F divided by K. SI units of X are the meters. Example 3. Using the formula triangle, work out the X, given K equals 1 newtons per meters and F equals 0.5 newtons. Solution. Write the formula we just worked out. Put the values we have been given into the formula. Work out the result. Answer is X equals 1 meters. Next starts the exercise. This exercise will test your understanding of physics at your age. You will find the answers at the end of this video. In this exercise, there are 15 questions based on Hooke's law just covered. You will have 35 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found, either, at end of this lesson or on our website. Exercise 1 Using the formula triangle, work out the applied force F, given K equals 1000 newtons per meters and extension X equals 10 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the applied force F, given K equals 1200 newtons per meters and extension X equals 50 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the applied force F, given K equals 1500 newtons per meters and extension X equals 50 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the applied force F, given K equals 3000 newtons per meters and extension X equals 150 centimeters.
Using the formula triangle, work out the applied force F, given K equals 5000 newtons per meters and extension X equals 10 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the spring constant K, given F equals 20 newtons and extension X equals 3 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the spring constant K, given F equals 2000 newtons and extension X equals 10 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the spring constant K, given F equals 1000 newtons and extension X equals 5 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the spring constant K, given F equals 1750 newtons and extension X equals 5 centimeters. Using the formula triangle, work out the spring constant K, given F equals 2500 newtons and extension X equals 25 centimeters. In the triangle shown, work out the extension X, given the spring constant K equals 1000 newtons per meters and F equals 450 newtons.
Using the formula triangle, work out the extension x, given the spring constant k equals 2000 newtons per meters and f equals 200 newtons. Using the triangle shown, work out the x, given k equals 5000 n slash m and f equals 700 n. Using the triangle shown, work out the extension x, given the spring constant k equals 20,000 newtons per meters and f equals 2,000 newtons. Using the triangle shown, work out the extension x, given the spring constant k equals 2500 newtons per meters and f equals 200 newtons. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. Answers for the previous exercise are coming next. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.